Good morning. Surprise. Back on the trail. Uh, we left. We were at Honey Buns Farm. And they, Broccoli Rob, shuttled us to the trailhead this morning. Started hiking at 7.10. I'm ready for a nap. Uh, definitely starting out really slow. But it's not supposed to be that hard of a day today in terms of up and downs. We are have a lofty goal of like 19 miles today. So we'll see if we're able to hit that. It's supposed to rain at some point. It is super overcast. So I don't know how that will interfere. I realized I didn't give my thoughts on Woods Hole Hostel. I really, really enjoyed it. Booty Shorts thought it was okay. Um, the main reason being that the showers didn't really get hot. They have like a, like a stove that they keep going that heats the water. So I think that's, that's why. I really liked it because I had lots of animals. Um, the food was amazing. They served you breakfast and dinner. Um, it was donation based. Um, it's just like kind of peaceful. We, they, we did yoga. Um, I'm on rocks right now. They just came up, snuck up on me. Um, the only thing is like they have a kind of strict like um, checkout time. So, the, like, checkout time is 11, but they want you gone by 10.30. Uh, and some people didn't like it because it was so, like, tame, I guess. If you're looking for a party hostel, it's not your hostel at all. Um, but if you're looking for fun animals and great food, you'll like it. Oh, it's pretty easy to get to from the trail. It's like a half a mile down a road, but I don't think it even felt like a half a mile. No. Um, and yeah, that's it. We had to rush out of Honey Bun's place this morning, so I didn't have time to poo. So I did my business up yonder at that privy. Now we're at Doc's. Mob shelter, and it's really, really nice. It's got a bench inside. A lot of benches out here. So fancy. I don't want to get too close. Oh, there we go. You can see the little baby birds. Hunger. This sign looks way older than the actual shelter does. This guy over here. Bluff City, 7.7. .7. Okay, I'm gonna give you a trail days recap. We got picked up from Woods Hole around noon on Thursday. Got taken to Honey Bun's place, um, which is like 10 minutes away from there. And then around two, we all got in a bus and shuttled down to Damascus. So we got there around four or five, four-ish yeah. um, on Thursday. Uh, we set up in the woods part of Tent City. There's also a field part, which was like a much quieter area. On Thursday, we just hung out with all the people who were there. There wasn't really anything yet going on for trail days. But we did go into town 
and get dinner at the Wicked Chicken. Um, then I kind of just hung out and drank a little bit, some beers, and then went to bed, I don't know, around midnight or something. Friday, we had an agenda to get booty shorts, um, a new backpack. He really hated his. It was the Gossamer Gear Mariposa. Yeah. Sorry, Mariposa. <coughs> and his biggest complaint was like all the weight was in the shoulder straps. Which um, we learned from other people who have that bag. They have the same complaint. So we wanted a new pack. Okay, so we went to all the tents. Um, we entered in some raffles. I thought there would be more vendors. There was only really two backpacking uh, companies, z packs and Light AF. Um, and Booty Shorts liked one of the Light AF packs. So, um, a guy helped him out there, and he got this one. I'll show you. I turn around. Oh, very nice. How does it feel? Better. We've been hiking a little over two miles. So, it's two miles and he likes it so far. Um, and then there's a hiker feed. So we got, that they were giving out food, so we got food there. I don't know, I think we went back to the tent a couple times, took a couple naps. We, uh, got some $8 pizza that was really ex expensive. And then we, at night, a lot more people came. Um... So there's kind of a fire right by our tent that we hung out that night. We drank a little bit more beer and the harder stuff. I think we went to bed around midnight again as well. Yeah, it was right around midnight. They had a big bonfire um, that night. It was pretty cool, but we didn't really hang around it too much. There was a ton of people. Um, everyone on drugs. Or a big majority of them. Saturday, or Saturday, yeah. I think it was a little bit hungover. Um, I feel like we did get breakfast Saturday, didn't we? Oh, Saturday. Okay, so Saturday, um, I still needed to get a new shirt. Because mine had holes in it. None of the vendors really had shirts. So, we went into town again. We went to a couple of the outfitters. I also got a new hat. I don't know if you can see it. Can I hold it out? There's my new hat. Same kind as booty shorts, but different print. Um, and I got like a little lightweight mirror. Because now I'm bougie. Uh, booty shorts. I also got that little green towel, like mine. Um, post office. oh, we went to the post office because we had to mail back Booty Shorts' old pack. Um, because it does fine on shorter trips, uh, like weekend trips or something, so still keep it for that. The post office didn't have any boxes big enough, so we had to like ask around if anyone had boxes. No one did, so we bought one at Dollar General that luckily fit. Um, we ate at Mojo's. That was good. And then we went back for a couple more naps. I think we... Oh, and then we watched a talent show. That was interesting. A lot of brave people going up to sing. Um, oh, I think the girl who got second, her name was Crook. She should have got first. She should have I think, was it Crooked? I thought her name was Crook, short for Crooked. Oh, uh, maybe, yeah. Um, 
and uh, I think she should got first. She had a beautiful voice. Oh, there's somebody up there. I'll speak to you later. All right, and then Saturday, Saturday night, there was another bonfire. I didn't drink Saturday. Blue shorts did a little bit, but not much. But um, I did do other things. <laughs> And so I had fun Saturday. We woke up the next day on Sunday. Was it around 8 or 9? Maybe around 8. Yeah, I think we woke up around 8. Um, packed up. We went to Dollar General. And resupplied there. And I basically just waited for the shuttle to pick us up at noon. And then we got back to Honey Buns, and that was Trail Days. So, thoughts on Trail Days. I don't think we needed to get there on Thursday. The only benefit of that was, um, I guess we kind of got a better, got to pick where we wanted to tent a little bit more, but even by the time we got there, it was pretty full. Um... The reason why I say I don't think we could have needed to get there on Thursday is it felt like one day too long. Like, we took four zeros. So, um, would have been better off with just taking three. There was a lot of people. Thankfully, everything was outside. I know in past years, sometimes they've done things inside. So, if things got, like, too crowded, we either, like, just stayed on the outskirts of things or didn't stay for very long uh, it was really fun seeing people I haven't we haven't seen in a couple weeks or a month or maybe even longer um, just because they are ahead of us uh, so I think the most fun part was definitely hanging out with people we haven't seen in a while oh and every there's this group called Riff Raff I forgot to mention one night they gave or a couple nights? Yeah, a couple nights they were giving out dinners to everyone. One night was chilly. Oh, I also forgot on Friday, I think it was Friday, there was a soup contest. And my favorite was clam chowder. And there's hamburger soup and then... Hangover. Oh, hangover soup. <laughs> I thought it was hamburger soup. <coughs> um, and gumbo, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. My favorite was the chowder. It was, Pennsylvania gumbo. Oh, it was Pennsylvania gumbo. My favorite was the chowda. It was really good. We didn't stay to see who won. <laughs> and then Riff Raff, the last night had roasted a pig. So they had like pork burritos. Those were pretty good. And they're like a big group. Somebody refer referred to them as like a fraternity. Like you have to like get pledged in or something I don't, I don't really know I didn't ask questions I just ate their food and um there were other places that we were giving out food so we did get a lot of free food that was really nice the booty shorts probably would never go again would you go again no no not even for like one day maybe one day booty shorts would go for like one day not really not really his scene um but I would like maybe to go again see um it'd be nice to like see this year's class next year that'd be fun um a little reunion and then this year they the parade was canceled or was it happening um there always is a parade every year uh but some t people try to make a parade happen and i guess like almost 100 people joined it but again that didn't really feel comfortable doing that. And then, but that'll be fun next year to maybe do the parade. And, yeah, so final thoughts. Said we got to see a lot of people we haven't seen in a while. Um, but overall, we stayed too many days. And, it's raining. And it's foggy. Got my new hat on. Protect me from the weather. And my new shirt. The sleeves are shorter. So I'll get a new sun tan. Sun line. Sun tan line. 
Look at all the trilliums. New flower in bloom. The grass is real high over here. And it's making my pants real wet. Eating lunch with a wonderful view. If you're trying to use the footprint to shield us some from the rain, it's not working that well. It's cold. I'm currently soaked through. I do have my rain jacket on. I think I have a couple spots on my pants that aren't completely soaked. But I can probably squeeze you about a gallon of water out of them. My phone's kind of foggy. You can see the deer right there. It's a huge doe. Oh. Or something. Oh. See if I can zoom in more. She's stomping. Hello! Um, so today was a really long day. We did 18.7 miles. Uh, we're currently at Ricefield Shelter. Um, it's really cool. It's foggy outside. Um, it rained most of the day, but you know, it stopped around 4.30 or so. Um, it's supposed to rain again tonight, uh, early in the morning, um, so hopefully we stay dry in our tents. Um, but um, we're really exhausted, so we're gonna go to bed. Uh, goodbye! <laughs> Good morning from the privy! We slept in today, maybe the latest we've ever slept in, and it was so wonderful. It was much needed. Um, I think we might do some night hiking today, if we feel like it. Um, not because we slept in past two noon, but because we wanted to. Here's the shelter we stayed at last night, tented over yonder. Not too shabby. It's got a mailbox. Nice fire pit. I can't sign it because I wasn't able to do my business here. Nice pasture. It's called a rice field shelter, so I wonder if this used to be a rice field. I'm gonna do a lot of ridge walking today. So the first half is gonna be super easy. Oh, and I didn't mention it is like 11.10 <laughs> and we just started to get hiking. That's okay. I needed the sleep so bad. Oh, excuse me. We did a lot of miles yesterday so my body was probably real tired from that. And maybe we'll do a little night hiking. Maybe we'll make today a short day. You know, Can't make any rash decisions. This is a lot early view from the edge of the mountains. Shelter's just right over there. What a major
wait for a beautiful sunrise this morning. But Booty, Schwartz, and I agreed we're going to leave the sunrises for the summer when we can finally wake up earlier. Spring sunrises just aren't our thing, you know? Hello, um, we're currently down here getting water. Um, we started hiking like two hours ago and we've only gone like a mile. Um, that's a lot. That's what it seems like to me. Um, anyways, here's the water, you can see it behind me. Pretty good, good flow. Um, looks like there's some people up there that wanna get some water too, so we're gonna get out of here and let them get their water. Goodbye. So those power lines that I showed you just before, I think the, those were the power lines that went down during the storm a couple months ago. And this whole section of the trail was closed up for a while. And that's why it looks like brand new over there. Because I had to do some hardcore Construction? Would you call it construction on a power line? I don't know. Repairs. Repairs. There we go. Um, but it left the this part of the trail with a lot of blowdowns. So it's pretty flat for this section. But there's a little bit of maneuvering we got to do. Um, I'll show you some more areas. When we get to them. It's not horrible, though. You just... Uh, Go around some things. See this part of the trail. The trail went this way. And all this is blowdowns. That's not part of the trail, but just showing you more of the mess. And so now the trail's going around it. And like right here, too. jungle gym so the trail went right where that branch is and now the trail's over here Ooh, look at all these sun peeps it rained again last night while we were in the tent so our reasoning for sleeping in was so that the tent could dry off and also um, yesterday the grass was super wet when you were walking through it so we wanted the grass to dry off too you know so we were thinking ahead look at all, all the trees like chopped off And that guy. How do you feel about it? <laughs> about what? About all the trees. Sad. They'll recover though. Add some character to him.
campsite? No. The greenery is so dense. Oop, I almost fell. <laughs> the greenery is so dense over here. currently 4 30 we just finished eating lunch not too long ago uh, we're climbing up a big mountain right now um, that's downhill behind me um, we've watched a dude fall as he was passing us pretty funny I think we can hear him coming I don't know um, anyways check you later definitely not the best water source I'm gonna have to make do Booty shorts found a spot. Huh? What'd you say? Said he found a good spot. So my dad has been asking for a video on how we set up the tent. So the first thing we do is we put the footprint down. Which we already did because we did our stretches on. Now I'm gonna film us putting it up. See how successful we are at it. I'll walk you through it. First, we start with the actual tent. Next. Next, the poles. <laughs> Next, you can either do the stakes or the fly, we choose to do the fly next. Next, the stakes. I have no idea what you can actually see right now, or if you can even hear me. The side's gonna be tough. Huh? The side's gonna be tough. <laughs> it's not funny. There's a huge room for you. You know what to do. Just don't. Is that not enough there? No. If it can't go any further, there's a big rock. Sometimes you run into situations where there's a big rock and you can't get the stake down.
Ta-da! And as you can, and as you can see, we did stake down the fly in the tent separately because our fly touches the tent too much. So we found if we stake it further out, it helps with the condensation and if it rains. Um, oh, and how we were able to do this is we found two extra stakes. And one stake you can't see. It's way back here. And then we just put all our crap in there. The end. So we only did 13.7 miles today. Not bad, but <sighs> not a lot for the kind of elevation we did today, but that's okay, we slept in. Um, we're gonna meet up with Forward tomorrow in the morning. Haven't hiked with her in a long time. Uh, and then it's gonna be three or four days until our next resupply. Hopefully we have enough food. And then after that, it's McAfee Knob. Uh, so that's going to be very beautiful. Oh, we're staying um, by a river. So you can, I don't know if you can hear it. But there's like a waterfall right next to us too. If we would have got here earlier, we could have gotten the river. But we got here when it was getting dark, so... Oh well, maybe we'll dip our feet in before we go head out in the morning. Okay, that's all. Good night. So, hopefully we stay dry in our tents. Um, but um, we're really exhausted, so we're going to go to bed. Uh, goodbye. <laughs>